We all know that there is a when green flag is clicked block, but there is no when stop sign is clicked. So how do we get around this limitation if we do want the game to do something when the stop button is pressed? Well, the short answer is it depends. Here's what I mean. Usually when the stop button is pressed, we want to end the game with something like the thumbnail showing. Here's my scrolling platformer game, which is quite fun to play, but when the stop button is pressed, nothing really happens. At the bottom, I have a decent thumbnail to display. We can just add the following lines to get this to show. When the green flag is clicked, go to the stage center. Then set the ghost effect to 100 and then show. Now add a forever loop each time going to the front layer. That's it. If you test the program now, when the stop button is pressed, you should get the thumbnail at the top. The reason this works is that Scratch's effects reset when the stop button is pressed, so the thumbnail turns opaque after being previously transparent. This is quite a neat trick for many cases, but what if one wants to do something like move a sprite or change a costume? Well, here's workaround number two using Scratch's timer. Our objective in this project is simple. We'd like to change this cat's costume from cat A to cat B when the stop button is clicked. Well, take your main code and then add a forever loop. Now go to sensing and then use the reset timer block. Scratch independently has a timer that always runs in the background, as you can see. Resetting this timer makes it go back to zero. So we can get a little bit clever. Go into the events tab and choose the loudness block and change to refer to the timer. We can change this if the timer is greater than 0.01 since Scratch will reset the timer to zero at a really fast rate. So fast in fact that the only way this can happen is if we stop resetting the timer when the stop sign is pressed. So here we can just change the costume to cat B. Test it out and it works perfectly. Now, I generally not recommend this because it leaves this very annoying highlight around the green flag and this kind of messes up with the UI. Nonetheless, if your game requires an action after the stop sign, this is the way to go.